tired of waiting in long queues? Remember the last time you went to the immigration, arriving to a huge flock of other applicants, and then spending hours and hours waiting for your turn? That after you just braved the scorching Doha heat. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. In this video, I'll show you how to process your government transactions by just using your fingertips and without having to step out of your home. All you need are your mobile and the super app called Metrash2. Hello everyone, I am the Curious Mrs. Your resident how-to girl in Qatar and welcome to another video. Did you know the Metrash2 mobile application was initially launched in late 2011 with only a few services available. Fast forward to today, it already has about 153 e-services to offer, available in 6 languages and accessible 24-7. Just a few statistics. Around 400,000 active e-service users are availing its services as of February 2018. About 7,000 transactions related to General Directorate of Passports are executed daily through the mobile app. And over 215,000 visa transactions and 160,000 leave notification services are processed every month. Residency or Qatar ID renewal, driver's license renewal, vehicle registration renewal and transfer, visa application and follow-up, traffic violation check and payment, you can even check the expiry date of your relevant documents like your ID and passport, including that of your dependents. These are just a few things that you can do in Metrash 2. No braving the heat, no waiting in line, and you can even have your new card delivered right at your doorstep. So keep watching to learn how to register and use the Metrash 2 app. But first, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to tap that bell button to get notified on other how-to videos and informative content, especially for those in Qatar. Okay, let's start. The first thing you need to do is you need to download the app. So go to your Play Store or your App Store, type in Metrash 2, and then click Install. And then click open once it's done. You'll see this official logo. Click allow. And then at the bottom of the screen, like I said earlier, this app is available in six languages. So that one's Arabic, English, and if you scroll to the right, that is, I think, Urdu. And this one, I'm not sure, maybe Indian or Nepali. And then we have French and Spanish. So let's click on English. Enter QID. Click on Next. So let's enter our ID card expiry. Click on the year first and then scroll. Okay. Click on Next. Are you sure your phone number is under your Qatar ID? So you need to make sure that your mobile number is actually registered under your name. Remember when you bought your SIM card and you filled out a form or you gave a copy of your passport or your ID? Then that means that your mobile number is actually registered under your name. But if you're not sure, then just click on this anyway. You'll receive a warning anyway if it's not. So that automatically generates a message to be sent to 92992. So just click on send and then you should be receiving activation codes in just a bit so let's just wait for that so I got this message from Metrash it says you are successfully registered in Metrash 2 service the following is your activation code so you go back to your Metrash and then enter the codes click on next and then you'll need a PIN code, so enter whatever you want. I'm not sure how many digits are required, but just enter 6 to be sure. Then done. Submit. So you already set your PIN code. 
the next step is to log in. So enter the PIN code that you just picked and then click on log in. And that's it. Click accept. And we're in. So this is how the app looks like once you're inside. There's two tabs here at the top, My Info and Services. So let's go to My Info first. So here, under My Info, you'll see a list of your official documents. This one, that's the expiry date of your cutter ID or your, or your residency. The next one here in blue is the expiry date of your passport. If you click on that, you'll see all your document details, your QID number, your name, your RP, expiry date, your passport number, and expiry date, your date of birth, entry date, and your license. I think that's your driving license expiry. So let's go back. The third one is your license. And the fourth one is, I think, so that's your last date of entry. On the second row, is residency service so under family these are your dependents and then third row is everything traffic related so owned vehicle one if you click on that you'll see the plate number vehicle expiry the model color manufacturer everything go back any violations it says here zero so meaning there's no violations visa service under process zero valid visa inside country so nothing in there under services if you go to residency there's an option for residency cancellation so if you're canceling everything and you're going home for good you can click on this residency calculation a cancellation i mean let's click on residency renewal because i want to renew my residency so by the way this is my husband's account because i'm his dependent Let's go to next. So you'll see here, he has two dependents, me and our daughter. So I want to renew my ID. Let's check that box. And year, just one year. You actually have the option of renewing it for one year, two years, or three years. And it's the same amount. So maybe I'll renew it for three years. It's 100 reals. So click that. That's my details there. Let's go back and click next. So when you apply for a new card, you have two options. You can either claim it from the immigration department or the traffic department, whatever is applicable to your card. Or you can have it delivered to you through QPost and you'll only pay an additional fee of 20 reals. So I clicked on QPost and so you'll see here the amount I'll pay is 120 reals. Continue. Kindly select the address where you'd like to deliver the IDs. Zone. So it's important that you know your exact building address, including the building number, the zone number, and the street number. Because for most of the transactions that you'll do here in Qatar, you'll need your complete address. Unit 17. Then click next. Unit number not valid, please double check unit number and try again. Note that unit number is optional. So let's just delete that. And then click on next. Cupos representative will contact you within two working days to specify the place and time for ID's delivery. For inquiries, call 104. Click on next. And then we'll need to fill in our card details. So let's do that. Click on pay. And we're done. QPost representative will visit you at the location specified to hand over the new IDs. Done. So going back, let's try the replace damage or lost ID. So if you damage your ID or you lost it for some reason, just click on this. So click on lost or damage, whatever's applicable. And then type in your QID or your dependents. Click on next. So still again, give your QID number, your name, and the expiry date of your card. So let's just stop at that because we didn't lost our card anyways. 
So one of the things we did before in Metrash 2 was transfer vehicle ownership from my dad to me. What we did was we logged in to my dad's Metrash 2 and then here under services, click on traffic and then vehicle service and then vehicle ownership transfer. So here you'll see the QID and the name, in our case my dad's because he was the owner. And then under that we have buyer information, so that should be me. Click on next, key in the establishment ID for vehicles owned by companies, not applicable. And then buyer mobile number. Of course when there are any new messages or notifications related to the vehicle, you want to be the one to receive them, not the old owner. And then plate number. Next. Oops, vehicle is not owned by QID. <laughs> so unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the entire process because obviously this vehicle is not owned by this Metrash account. But there shouldn't be any problem after this. You should be able to transfer the ownership very easily and then once you're done with that I mean the transfer so it's now under your name the registration you'll need your card so to claim your card you can either claim it from their office or you can have your new card delivered to you all you need to do is enter your complete address and then pay an additional fee of 20 reals and it's yours so let's go back what else do we have here Renew vehicle registration. Go back. You can even do an accident registration from here. Let's try to click that. Allow metrash to access. Allow. And then that should be your location. And then you'll need to type in the plate number. And that's it. Let's go back. Violation service, say traffic violations. Hmm. Go back. License service. So my husband just renewed his driving license like a month ago using Metrash and we didn't have any problems with it. Maybe you damaged your license or you lost it. Let's try that. Replace damaged license. So again, click. QID number, click on next. So you'll see here the details, license number, license type civilian, expiry date. So let's go back because we don't want to replace our driver's license. Go back, go back again. General services. Metrash for individuals. So if you want to get notifications or messages, Related to Metrash or any of your government transactions, let's just click subscribe and then click on your mobile number. Enter your mobile number, I mean. Please confirm to submit your request. Done. Visa. I know a lot of people need this. Visa follow up, visa approval, visa operation, visa holders list. A lot of things you can do there. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have you registered in Metrash? What feature did you find most useful? Let me know in the comment box below and please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to tap that bell button. Till my next video, bye!